welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. My name is Christian and today's video is about the garden eels. Garden eels live in the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, but also in the Atlantic Ocean and the Red Sea. They are part of the subfamily Heterocongrine in the conger eel family Congridae. There are around 35 species of garden eels on the planet. Because they tend to live in groups on the bottom of the sea, specialists name them garden eels. There is a large colony of garden eels in the Agaba Bay in the Red Sea. This area was named Eel Garden. It is close to the Dahab Resort and has become a favorite place for divers from all over the world. Photos and videos taken in this area create a complete illusion of a magical garden. Hundreds of eels coming out of the sand are being moved by the sea currents, just like grass is moved by the wind. These long round fish live in holes on the bottom of the sea. This is their way of life, only getting their head and part of their body out, while the rest of their body remains in the sand. In case of emergency, when a predator gets close, the eels retreat into their holes. This is their only way of defense. If predators or humans try to dig them out, they go deeper and deeper using their tails like a screw to make way into the sand. The largest densities are of about 40 eels per square meter. The garden eels feed on plankton or shrimp larvae. They are mostly active during the day, therefore are considered diurnal creatures. Garden eels are harmless to humans. Depending on the species, they can range from very light to very dark colors. Some of them have various spots or stripes. Their size can be from 20 cm to 150 cm, however most garden eels measure about 40 cm in length. They live at depths between 3 and 100 meters. Even if a garden eel can reach a length of 150 cm, the diameter of its body is of only 1.5 cm. Its tail is covered with a thick and dense skin, wonderfully adapted for digging. In the lower part of its body, this eel has some special organs that secrete mucus, which helps it with a fast retreat in its hideout. Garden eels have large eyes and a very good eyesight, but they have a poor smell due to their minuscule nostrils. They are very timid with humans and other fish, but they are slightly aggressive towards other individuals of their own species. When threatened, they retreat rapidly into their holes, which they close with a mucus tap, making it difficult for a predator to find them. When a garden eel feeds, it keeps its lower body into the sand and balances its head all over the place to pick up the plankton. During the mating season, they dig their holes very close until they almost touch each other. Then the male chooses which female he wishes to mate with and defends her ferociously, biting the head or the eye of any other male wishing to approach her. The female releases the fertilized eggs into the water and these are left at the mercy of the water currents. Their biggest predators are snake eels and the trigger fish. These have developed various hunting techniques, burying themselves in the sand close to a colony. When the garden eels come out, they grab them by the tail first, cutting the possibility of a retreat. Garden eels can also be raised in aquariums on the condition of having enough sand to permit them to make holes that allow them to hide completely. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave us a comment, a like, share it with a friend and maybe subscribe to the channel. My name is Christian and until the next episode, all the best!